back as I can remember, I always wanted to be one of them. That's me, Jimmy Hilton, in the middle. Still looking like Mama's little wet dream. I'd only been in college for a week. I didn't know much. But I knew what it took to play in the big leagues. It cost me 20 bucks in Times Square. Apparently, 20 wasn't enough. I needed more, and they knew where to get it. Those guys had it all. and you always knew who they were. They walked through campus knowing they owned it. All of them. They had the clothes, the style, the look, and of course, the women. Most important, they had IDs. The fake kind, the ones that open a world of opportunity to an underage college kid. I knew as soon as I saw them, I had to be one of them. Rick Jersey was the man on campus. Men wanted to be him, women wanted to be in his pants. Once he saw my potential, I knew I'd make it. Seems they needed someone to help them out mainly moving supplies for their ID racket. Required a lot of running around, but I was more than willing to do it. I was paying my dues. I was untouchable. Jersey knew how to take care of his boys. It was all up and up after that. I was in. The new guy. All these friends. All these women. I knew everybody, and everybody knew me. I didn't even have to talk to them. It didn't matter. I was one of them now. We had a racket going, buying liquor for kids. It was all routine. We didn't even think about it. We were living life right. That's why we were here, in college. Yeah, I had to drop a class. And my old friends. They couldn't hang out with us on Wednesday night anyhow. They wanted the library. 
I wanted what I was getting. It was tough being cooler than everyone else. To us, everyone else was dead. Their pathetic little existence with their classes before noon and their extracurricular activities and charity work was only substitute for what we got on a regular basis. I had a fridge full of beer by my bed. Enough phone numbers to last until next year's freshman showed up. It didn't matter that we never talked about anything but getting loaded or laid, or the next time we get loaded or laid, or the fact that we were loaded or about to get laid. Whoever said college was the forum for open discussion never opened a bottle of stone. It was supposed to be a routine buy. Didn't quite work out that way. So that's my story, our story. Judge us if you have to, if you need to. If it helps you to sleep easier at night, condemn us for being who we are. But just remember, we're here. And if we weren't, somebody else would be. Your world wouldn't exist without us to remind you who you really are. Oh, you can leave any time you want. Care for another donut? No thanks. You don't need me to sign something or? Nope. You can go. Hey, uh, kid. I know you're in college and everything, but just wait until you at least look 21. Okay? What does he know? He's in here. He doesn't know how it works. But we do. I'm not about to give up the perks. Even if associating with these guys is just a four-year lapse in reality or better judgment. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be one of them. Sometimes you can get what you want.